one thing I find most challenging and severely underdocumented in open source is how to keep your fork up to date with the upstream. Now, if you don't know what I mean, uh, this is a Node.js project, and I just want to create a fork. The problem is I already have a fork created. And the way I usually keep my forks up to date is by going into the project and hitting the delete button and then reforking. Sometimes there are branches that I'm still working on that I would like to keep up to date, but I don't want to delete the entire repo just to sync the main branch. The nice thing about this is that there is a GitHub action that helps sync your forks with the upstream. And here's one that I've actually contributed to myself. Now, the way this works is that you have to add the workflow to the upstream. So the best way moving forward is asking the maintainer to add this to their project. Otherwise, you'll have to do this manually yourself. My use case for this is actually my project called OpenSauce. OpenSauce has a backend, which is a GitHub repo. And that GitHub repo looks like this. And in this GitHub repo, I actually leverage issues as templates. And the way I make this work is I actually have a workflow that's called sync to upstream. And every Monday and Thursday, the workflow runs to keep my fork in sync with the upstream. So here you can see I've got my sync with upstream job. It's named, uh, I check out to the main branch. Uh, it's very important you actually check out the correct branch in this case too as well. Uh, in this case, this is gonna be the, my main branch on my project. Uh, leverage my fork, which I actually created a fork of the project you just saw. Again, that's, that's something I mentioned before, but actually super powerful with GitHub Actions is the fact that you can power your actions with your own projects or even forks of other projects. And then finally, I had a timestamp. Uh, this is something I've not talked about in the past, but built in with the GitHub Action Runner pipeline is a tool to actually add the timestamp to your, your runner. And I hope you found this video useful. Let me know if you start using it in your open source workflow.